Good morning, it's Rachel Cavanaugh from Benzik Cavanaugh Real Estate Team, and I'm here to share your July market update. We have some exciting stats from the Toronto Real Estate Board, and I'll get to those in a moment. First, I want to wish you a very happy Canada Day. I hope you had a wonderful long weekend with your family and friends. And thank you for coming to the Markham Village Music Festival. For those of you who came to visit with us and donated to the Center for Dreams, we were able to raise $800 for the Center for Dreams together. So thank you very much for your support for that wonderful organization. Um, what we're seeing in the real estate market uh, for the month of June is a little bit more inventory that came online and many sellers thinking that the interest rate drop with the Bank of Canada in early June was going to uh, really impact uh, affordability in a positive way for buyers. We are still seeing those interest rates on the high side for buyers and buyers taking their time to make decisions as there is more inventory on the market, so they have a little less competition and more time to shop and choose the right home. Um, now I'll jump into the actual stats from the Toronto Real Estate Board. So for the area of Markham for detached homes, we saw an increase in the number of sales uh, between May and June, uh, sales increased 2%. So we were selling a few more houses and months of inventory um, was also up. So as I mentioned, more inventory hitting the market. We're sitting at 4.4 months of inventory in the Markham detached home segment. Uh, and prices were up slightly as well for Markham, up 2% month over month. Prices were down year over year, uh, 2% as well. So um, those are the stats that came out for Markham. And then jumping into Stouffville detached homes, we saw an increase in the number of sales there as well. And now we're talking about 21 homes versus 25 homes. So um, we're looking at a 19% increase. Prices of those homes that were sold was up a little bit as well. And months of inventory, the big uh, indicator for whether we're in a balanced market, a seller's market or a buyer's market is sitting at 4.9 months in Stouffville. So we did see months of inventory decrease in Stouffville. We saw some of that inventory that was very high starting to get purchased um, by the buyers who were out there looking. Now the next uh, rate setting for the Bank of Canada is July 24th. So look out for news with what happens with the real estate market through the summer. And if you have questions about your specific real estate purchase or sale, please reach out to anyone on our team. We'd be so happy to talk to you about the real estate market and how it impacts your specific situation. Have a wonderful day.